It's kind of an unfortunate inevitability that when you share the same country and era as Manny Pacquiao and you happen to be a fighter, you're just going to be a distant second to him in terms of the affection the fans have for you, in terms of just how much spotlight boxing shines on you. But lest we forget, Nonito Donaire, now the oldest ever champion at bantamweight, at 38, he's basically been going for the same amount of time as Pacquiao. He's almost the same size. And he has done some incredible things in the sport. And he's just reminded us that he has one of the best left hooks of all time. It has cracked bones. It left a dent in Fernando Montiel's head. I think it cracked Inoue's eye socket. And then it's just taken out a guy here who, as soon as he really tasted the power, uh, he was panicking more than he already was. The physical presence of Donaire in this fight was quite clear. He looked a weight or two bigger than Abali, whose dimensions are actually kind of close to Roman Gonzalez's uh, at, at super flyweight, right? And he was able to exert that physical pressure, instill panic a little bit, as Polly Malinagi likes to say. And you can see that Donaire, of course, is not the same guy he was 10 years ago. The legs don't have the same spring. He's not timing shots as consistently as he should be. But when he does time them, and when that left hook goes over a, low, a, a lazy right jab, it's problem time. And his ability to f follow up, the, the way he whips in the uppercuts, he's able to still somehow call upon this youthful reserve when he tastes blood. And the finish was just brutal. Donair is one of the few guys who I watch on TV that when he lands that left hook, it genuinely makes me wince because he gets so much velocity into the shots, always has done, and still can at 38. There's a lot of talk about Canelo these days, and in the wake of this amazing achievement by Nonito, I saw some people saying, well, Canelo's been pound for pound for longer, though I still think he's got a better legacy. People forget... Nonito Donaire, when he was in the top five uh, pound for pound fight, um, sorry, 10 years ago, he was with an active Manny Pacquiao and an active Floyd Mayweather. It was a tougher era. There was more talent at or near their best when he was taking people out at his best. And yes, his career has meandered a little bit since losing to Guillermo Rigondeaux. He did uh, jumped up to super featherweight, tried to take on Nicholas Walters, which was crazy. He was so big, the Axeman, wherever he's gone now. He was so big for 130 pounds, and yet Donaire still managed to wobble him in the second round. That shows you how deadly his left hook is. When you reduce weight, like Donaire did, and went back down to bantamweight, later on in your career, when the body's slowing down, when you can't get away with the things on the scales that you used to be able to as a younger man, it's normally a recipe for disaster. I'm always reminded of Roy Jones coming back down from heavyweight, and Chris Bird, and they both fell apart. Donaire held it together, remains patient, stalks you, and still has enough timing to take you the hell out. He is now WBC champion. We could get a rematch with Inoue possibly somewhere down the line. If Inoue probably deals with another Filipino, there's so many of them at Bantamweight at the moment, Michael Dasmarinas uh, in June. We could have an, a repeat of that amazing fight we saw in 2019. Or, Nonito Donaire could now fight... Another countryman, John Rel Casemiro, who has the IBF, oh no, sorry, the WBL at 118 pounds. So the options now for Donaire, nobody thought he would have continued fighting now at 38. When we saw him against Carl Frampton a few years ago and he put up a decent effort, it was like, okay, you know, the writing's on the wall now. Let's see you go. You're an ambassador for the sport. You're always so good to the opponents after the fight. You're so stringent on being tested apparently 24-7, 365 days a year to show that he is clean. It's like, you know, let's just see you walk away, but boom, now he's champion again. And he's just made a little bit of history. So yes, Manny Pacquiao, of course, he is in a certain stratosphere of legendary status, but let's 
remember and appreciate Nonito Donaire. He is champion again, and he's going to be getting a unification fight. Whoever it's going to be against, I don't know, but both options are brilliant. In a way, rematch or all-out Filipino war against John Real Casemiro.